Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to apologize for the lighting. It's um, a bit dark. Um, and honestly, you guys are going to probably see this a lot. Um, most of the time in the day, I'm busy, I'm working, or I'm doing other things, unless it's like a weekend. I'm not, I'm usually not able um, to make my videos earlier in the day, and so it's pretty dark. Sometimes I try to film like my weight loss videos in the bathroom because it has a lot of light in there. But it'd be, it would be weird to do a 2020 goals video in my bathroom. So I am here just sitting in my little YouTube area and um, hopefully the lighting isn't too bad for you guys and that you guys enjoy this video. So um, I'm sure you guys are aware what this video is about. It's about my goals for 2020. Um, as you can see in the back, I have my vision board, which is pretty much just a visual of what I want to see in this year. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean that everything on that board will happen, but having a vision board really does put you in the right frame of mind to make your year more productive and, and so that you can see a lot of the goals that you want uh, come together, even if they don't necessarily happen. I know there were a lot of things that happened, like for example, in 2017, uh, well, not 2017, 2018, my husband and I, we really wanted a house. Um, I put that on my vision board. We didn't buy a house in 2018, but we started doing a lot of things towards having a house. Um, we started saving, we started trying to get our credit better. And, and so even though I had the house on my vision board, I wasn't planning on having the house that year but I did a lot of things to work towards having the house. And then 2019, I put the house on my vision board again, but this year, it was the year of bringing that dream to a reality. Um, and so in 2019, that vision was achieved and we did get our house. Um, and so what I'm basically trying to say is, vision boards, even though it's for that year, if it's something that you're working for, that's like maybe two or three years out, Put it on your vision board so that it, you can see it and it's always on your mind and you're always working towards whatever that goal is. Okay, um, so for me, I have five main uh, goals that I wanna achieve this year. They're not all um, actual like physical goals. A lot of them are like mental um, and just changing my frame of mind. Um, but a lot of them are things that you guys may also be interested in changing this year. And so, with that being said, let's move on to my first goal. So my first goal, I think you all know, is I want to be uh, in better health. And so my goal for this year is to really just focus on eating better and being more active and, and just living a lifestyle that a person who's healthy and fit would live. Um, I'm doing that by eating ketogenically um, I'm also doing that by I plan on going to the gym more um, I also my husband likes to go hiking I plan to go hiking with him I've also signed up for a 5k that I plan to like walk run um, so um, and that's in June and so I've already started making strides to accomplishing this goal now am i going to be at the height of fitness by the end of 2020 i doubt it um just time wise it's just not reasonable to think that but that doesn't mean that i shouldn't put that on my vision board i definitely think that this year is going to be the most critical year in terms of me achieving this goal and so hopefully by the end of the year, I can say that yes, I am a more active person and I am in a better health. Um, I, I'm not morbidly obese anymore. And um, just look back and think, you know what? I did what I set out to do. Uh, okay, so my second goal for the year is to be, uh, and honestly, my first goal can't be achieved without the second goal. So really the second goal probably should be the first goal, but I digress. 
So my second goal is to be more consistent and disciplined. And honestly, these things, they go hand in hand because it's hard to be consistent without discipline and you will never get disciplined without consistently practicing being disciplined. And so honestly, these this is probably the most important thing for me of all of my goals um, is to really be more consistent in everything. And so what that means is I'm gonna be consistent with anything that I wanna change, that I wanna be better at, and I'm gonna be more disciplined with anything any goals that I have that I want to achieve. Um, I can't stress this enough. Uh, I feel like when I don't practice this, it's like my life is unfulfilled. It's, it's, I'm not achieving things that I want. Um, and I look back and I'm like, man, Kilo, you know, if you really had just taken some time to really just practice being more consistent. You could have achieved so much. And you know, I'm about 30 now, 31, honestly. I'm 31 and I mean, I'm not in a bad place, but I really feel like if I had taken my life into my hands earlier and I really had tried to practice being more uh, consistent and disciplined about my dreams, about my goals, about the things that I wanna achieve, that I would probably be further along, but that's okay because another thing is that I really don't wanna be negative I about anything that I've done in my life. I feel like my experiences are what makes me and maybe if I had always achieved what I wanted to, I might not care about uh, being more consistent or disciplined like I want to now. So you just never know. My third goal for this year is to practice mindfulness. And honestly, I feel like it's so easy to lose sight of how important it is to be mindful. I feel like in life, it's it, especially like with Instagram and just social media in general, it's so easy to look at others and to see where they are and to look at what they have and to never feel content and, and to not be mindful of of your achievements and the things that you've done in your life that you should be proud of. Um, and so uh, my goal is to just write a journal, but to, to have it be more focused on being mindful for what I do have in my life. And it doesn't mean that I want to be complacent with where I am, but what it means is that, that I guess, for example, like back in 2017, I bought my very first car ever. I mean, a little later in life, but it's the very first car that I ever bought for myself. And, you know, I recently I've been seeing a lot of other people and they, they bought new cars and I'm so happy for those people. But then it makes you feel like, oh, well, you know, I've had this car and, and it wasn't a new car, it was a used car. And, and it's easy to say, oh, I, I need a new car too, or I want a new car too. Am I not doing enough in life? Like, how, how, it, it, I don't know if I'm saying, if you guys are getting what I'm trying to say, but it's just like, when I got that car, I was so grateful. I was so happy. I, I was so ecstatic. And in a short period of time, I totally, you know, forgot about that feeling that I got. And I forgot about what it was like when I lived without a car and how I always said, oh man, I wish I had a car. I don't care what kind of car it is. I just wish I had one. And then you get one and it's not good enough. And I'm not saying that I, I never want another car because I do, I have cars that I would love to drive or like that one car. I feel like everybody has that one car that they would love to have and I do have those but I feel like it's important for me to be just mindful of of where I am and, and, to, and to feel grateful for where I am and what I have because a lot of times in my life I've had people say things like oh you know must be nice to be you or must be nice to be able to to travel must be nice to not have student loans just stuff that I take for granted sometimes, honestly, and I, I don't think about it. And and so this year, I want to practice being mindful and, and just being grateful for 
where I am and what I have and also not trying to get somewhere uh, because I'm not grateful for what I have, but getting somewhere because it's the next step from what I've worked to get. And I hope you guys understand that. <laughs> um okay great so my fourth goal for the year is to reduce the amount of debt that i have um i don't plan on being completely debt free this year um but i do plan on significantly trying to reduce the amount of debt that i do have and i plan on making a video showing you guys uh where i am debt wise it's not gonna be everything um I'm, but i'm gonna try to be as transparent as I feel comfortable being and just talk about my debt and talk about how I plan to tackle it and um, also just you know how how I got into the debt and just my mindset around everything because there's just so many things that I do want to achieve in the years going forward and I just I'm the type of person when I'm in debt I just honestly I have a degree in accounting and so I'm just one of those people like if my numbers aren't looking great I really like I lose sleep I can't sleep I can't focus it's on my mind constantly and so recently I have racked up some debt not intentionally but due to just like surgery and then also never having a new home before and not knowing all the things that you would have to buy for a house and actually let me let me know if you guys would like a video of that like things that you need for a new home that you never thought of before i'm talking specifically if you're a person who has never bought a house before um you've lived in apartments all your life there's just certain things that you just don't think about that you end up needing to get and so if you want a video on that please let me know i'll be happy to make a video about about those things okay guys so now i want to tell you about my last goal for the year and honestly just because i only listed out five doesn't mean that these are my only goals but these are my big goals these are the ones that i'm probably going to put the most focus on and so that's why these are the ones that i'm talking about but my fifth goal for this year is to travel more travel 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 um you know like i said earlier i'm 31 now and i'm so i wish that i had traveled more in my youth and you know seen more of the world and I don't want to have to wait until I reach an age of retirement to see what's out there in the world. And so for this year, I want to travel internationally to at least one destination. And also I want to travel more in the U.S. Um, like I've said in the past, I'm not originally from the U.S. I'm from the Bahamas. And so there's a lot of the U.S. that I haven't seen. And so I find it fun and fascinating to go to different places. There's a few places that I really want to travel and I will be taking you guys along with us when we do travel. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch me and to find out about my goals for this year. Uh, please let me know in the comment list your main goal for the year. What's the thing that you are trying to achieve this year? That one main goal that if you achieve it, you're gonna be so happy and proud of yourself. Let me know down in the comment. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, like it. And if you wanna follow my journey uh, this year and you know forward, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.